been a while since you've docked here, eh? I suppose the lockdown has hurt your profits as well. Oh, it must be hard to shuttle people when nobody's allowed to leave. The blockade has been bad for everyone. Your manifest says it's been two months since you last came here. It must have become much worse since your last trip. Military checkpoints are everywhere. Could be. Now space forces have been in full readiness ever since the space battle in orbit. Tensions are running high. All Republic vessels must be searched, and the delays are turning pilots grey before their time. And ever since the Republic fired on our space forces, things have been even slower. Bad days. Bad days. And things are getting worse. I'd get out of the system quickly if I were your friend. Well, doesn't look like you have any trade goods, so the inspection's just a formality. Here's your Starport visa. Don't lose it. They're priceless right now. If you want to leave the planet, you need a Starport visa. They're very hard to get. Many people want to get out of here before things get worse. Certainly. Mind what I said about the Starport visa. I know one captain already who can't get back into the Starport. Yes? Ask, and I will answer. Nothing more than we already know. There is danger in such knowledge. I know how... Fair winds to you, Offworlder. Is it too much to hope that you are a Belgian merchant? The winds do a taste of misfortune, then. Our beasts will continue to wait in their cages. They have been kept in their cages for a long time. But yet at times, I feel as if something else is affecting them. Frightening them. Beasts can be sensitive to the currents within cities and people. When such things are disturbed, the beasts may echo it. Perhaps it is the city itself. Rises has fallen upon dark times, and tension has been high in the streets. Calm. Calm. What? Run! The bomber is... out of control! I... I don't know what to say. I had heard stories, but I assumed that they were fledgling riders, or simply tales that grow in the telling. Not since my first Drexel have I lost control of a beast. I apologize profusely. Here, I give you these credits for the danger I put you in. The beasts grow more agitated by the day. The stories say that the smoldering fires of city politics cast a smoke they can smell and breathe. They revert to their primal instincts, as... as you've just seen. When they get that way, not even a skilled beast rider can control them. As soon as I leave here, I will talk with my family. 
there is much to be discussed. Please keep them. It salves the shame my beast's behavior has brought me. Halt, Offworlder. You'll have to answer some questions before you go into the city. What is your business on Isis? Amusing. Your humor is noted. Is your ship affiliated with any Republic-based corporation? You could just answer no. Answers like that just mean more paperwork for me. Do you have any crates of weapons or other military equipment you plan to sell in Isis? Not really. Getting into Isis's merchant quarter is easy if you're not bringing in cargo. Getting out? Well, just keep a hold of your starport visa. You're free to go. Let's hurry this up. I want him escorted out of here quickly. This is outrageous. I'm not a spy. I'm a journalist for Isis Calm. You're a Republic spy, and your propaganda will be silenced. We are taking you back to our barracks for interrogation. But, well, you can't be serious. You accuse me of propaganda? I have proof that Vaklu is withholding information on the so-called Republic. One more word of treason out of you. What are you looking at? This is none of your business. Please, ma'am, help me. Vaklu's troops won't listen. I'm just a journalist, not a spy. A warrant? General Vaklu passed an edict giving the military broad authority to detain and question anyone suspected of treasonous activity. It was specifically meant for us to pick up spies like this before they could leave Isis or go underground. That is classified military information. I don't have time to answer your barbed questions off-worlder. Men! Let him go. We'll be back with a court order. Then we'll take him to the barracks. And you. You should watch yourself. You don't want to be known for siding with people like him. I don't know how to thank you. I'm getting out of Isis now. Eventually they'll come back for me. After that, I have a feeling no one will hear from me again. Thank you. Please tell me you're an off-worlder. But this is good news! You have a starboard visa, right? I can only sell my best weapons if you have that. These soldiers ensure that I don't forget these formalities. Watch it, Keg. The captain already has enough complaints about you. No need to be alarmed, my foreign friend. Pay the soldier no heed. Pr pr pretend he isn't here. There must come a time when the Queen bows to the will of the people. The Republic has brought nothing but war and death. In our 50 years of flying their colors, we have had more war than the past millennia. Back General Vaklu in his effort to make her see reason. We do not need the Republic. They need our resources, our world, and our blood. For all that we have given, now we get nothing. The Republic is weak and falling apart. Its Jedi, whose fallen brethren have brought such misery to us, have disbanded. Let's be the first world to take our future into our hands. Are you with me? Yes, you! It is up to each and every one of us to turn the tide, to take control of our future. 
No, they take from us. They are like Minox, sucking energy and resources from so many worlds. They bleed us for their bureaucracy and their excesses. That's enough, Ponlar. If you keep this up, you're going to spend time in detention. You're coming awfully close to treason. You can't silence me forever, soldier. But I'll keep my peace. For now. Unnecessary observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Recitation. And bring about the termination of hostilities. <laughs> Bota Ayuka Taigua Kankidora Yasora Ku took a Ulwanji Yuma Lithba Shanek ma Winbok Lelen Corso Baramwe Da Hupa Bosa Curata Go Jujuto Yoki Hiata Yamba Wajiaki Yukito Tune Gavadumba Munsuru Kupla Liawa Bo Bagaragawanda Yaitua Ulwanji Yuma Mogachi Norta Hirembe Wanachi Kaki Mogo Grabo Drum Pabana Karas Mangra, Kalalava Dumba Compaile Mokata. Kawana Bota, Yunta Tanga Kinamatura, Tayaita, Tabosanan Hansata. Tovrekun Mili was a slima po Wanga Samoana, Nucha, Mogachi Norta Hirembe Wanachi, Kaki Mogo Grabo, Drum Pabana Karas Mangra. Kalalava Dumba Compaile Mokata Kawana Bota Ayuka Taigua Kankidora Yasora Ku took a Ulwanji Yuma Lithba Shanek Ma Winbok Lelen Corso Baramwe Da Hupa Bosa Curata Go Jujuto Yoki Hiata Yamba Wajiaki Yukito Tune Kawana Bota Yunta Tanga Kinamatora Tayaita, Tabosanan Hansata Kawana Bota Ayuka Taigua Kankidora Yasora Ku took a Ulwanji Yuma Lithba Shanek Ma Winbok Lelen Corso Baramwe Moloda Nawinki Sa Toma no Kamarundisi Makaranti Kawana Bota Yunta Tanga Kinamatora Tayaita, Tabosan Hansata. Tinor cream so chi nor clean chulk wool fell and silo do chamar banso. Tovrekun mili was a slima po wanga samoana, mucha.
You're looking for Dagon? You're not gonna find him here. A soldier captain was murdered at the cantina real good. They got some suspects at the tower. From what I hear, Dagon Ghent is one of them. He's certainly capable of it, and probably stupid enough to get caught. But we need him, suspicion of murder or not. Like I would know. Isis is a crazy place right now. It's the turret tower on the other side of the market. Captain Riken is the man to talk to. If you talk to him, tell him I got his 20 credits. What is it? I hear you. We some more go to see ship. Bram Tabani, soju. The come just mark me ki baranye dos. Yatuka, u wan rika, chotin, wanim, aura. Let's <laughs> go. 
General, we have found them again. Have we, Tobin? Or is this a preface to another of your failures? Consider the whole field, Tobin. Why would a Jedi risk all of this just to come to Isis? The crew of the Ebon Hawk is elusive, General. We were warned about that, but we still underestimated them. But the fools are here, in Isis. The intel on this is certain. I'm ordering men loyal to us to take care of them now. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Hold that order. Have her watched instead. The Jedi may prove a solution to another one of our persistent problems. I won't remain silent any longer! The Republic has actively attacked us! They attack our spaceships unprovoked! What next? An invasion? Perhaps they seek to conquer us. Will you stand idly by? Will you let them bomb our city? No! If Queen Talia is so removed that she won't do what the people so clearly want, then we must show her. With force! That's it, Ponlar. We're taking you in. You've gone too far. Brothers and sisters, let us rise up now and march to the palace! Our will cannot be denied! The time of patience is over. Let's... He's, He's right! right. Get Get out. Out. Kill, Kill the Royalists! They're arming. We need backup. You, we could use your assistance. Try to disable them. If the mob grows, many more will die. Thank you, Offworlder. We may have to hold them off alone until backup arrives. Kill the Royalists! <laughs>
Welcome to what must be the smelliest place in the universe, Offworlder. How can I assist you? We certainly do. He and several other people were picked up in connection to a murder. Captain Sulio. She was in charge of the Starport Checkpoint. A good soldier. Your friend was one of the last people that saw her alive. So far, he's just a suspect. But if he did it, the punishment is death. Dagon Ghent is the only person I know with the contacts to help us out. We need to get Dagon out of custody. Until we either eliminate him as a suspect or find the real killer. Dagon has quite a record with the authorities. The Colonel thinks that murder isn't too far a stretch for someone like him. No way. We're under orders to make sure no one sees the murder suspects. Command is taking this very seriously. I know Dagon personally. He's one of the worst doctors I've ever heard of. But I can't see him deliberately killing someone. He was one of the last people seen with Captain Sulio in the cantina. Ask around there. I've heard he's got a good motive for killing her. If you can somehow clear that up and prove it wasn't him, command will cut him loose. If I say any more, I'll get in trouble. Stay out of trouble. Malam pro terawan jika sasam cabar dalam kuat. Kawan abota, ibu tatangga kena matura. Tayai ta, ta bosanan hansa ta. Cune mulera, tongking ke bano jansa ta nikaraska. Tanja nik de mau imbo keranta mi bilan. Munga cinor ta imbrai wana cik. Drumba bambwa, konti chan munka, kava dumba kuswa kata ya munka ata. Tako me tak, bla iya justing, miki gong gobe aste, kun grabi la kinyo mulara kichi kuta grasa kisha. Da hupa, bo sakurata, go juju to yoki. Hiata yamba waj, kavadumba munsuru kupla liya wa. Bo munga chinor ta imbrei wa na chiki. Drumba bambwa, konti chan munka. Kawana bota, yunta tanga kinamatur. Nice to meet you, sentient. Are you interested in a friendly game of Pazak? The deck is warm, the drink is plentiful, and the company amiable. Can I tempt you? Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? She did? Oh no, by the four moons, what a mix-up! They got it all wrong. Dagon and Sulio were good friends. It's just when they got a little too much Juma juice, they'd carry on. <laughs> They'd call each other all manner of things. It could get quite hilarious, really. But it was just friendly banter. That night, Sullia was in great form. Dagon and I were laughing about some of the choicer ones later. yellow tooth dung-dweller. <laughs> we bought her a couple of drinks afterwards. It may look strange on the outside, but it was just their habit. Their way of passing time during these dark nights. Listen, if the soldiers think that's a motive, they just didn't do enough digging. That bit of information will help with clearing Dagon. But the Andoran military won't let him off that easy. They're very obstinate. Maybe some of these people will know more about what happened that night. I was cleaning up stakes from a particularly rewarding Pazak game when I heard a loud sound outside. 
I grabbed my blaster and went out the door. When I got out, I saw Captain Salio. She was quite dead. Blood was everywhere. I heard a noise and saw Dagon Ghent coming from his office across the courtyard. We both waited for the authorities to get there. The next day, they picked up Dagon and several other people in the area. It's crazy to think he did it. Salio was our friend. Just outside the door by the junk heap. It might be a good idea to look at the crime scene. We fought many soldiers in the Mandalorian Wars. The Andoronians were certainly brave, but they were disorganized and stupid. I wouldn't be surprised if they overlooked something. Inside the cantina might know more. This room is reserved. <laughs> if you ask me, she got what she deserved. She looked down on us beast riders. Good riddance. That Bith keeps buying droids, and the scavengers keep stealing them or blowing them up. Seems he's finally given up. Waitress is awful, but she's more fun than his droids ever were. I wouldn't tell you even if I knew. I could tell you where you could find the parts, though. That western square has the perfect fence for droid parts. There is a droid vendor called... 1B8D. That droid is as dumb as a Gamorrean. He'll buy anything because he's too stupid to do anything else. 1B8D is quite handy. Quite a few of the slum dwellers make a good living salvaging droid parts for him. He might have even bought some. The market rate for those parts would be 25 credits. Thank you for your business. Kiff and the cantina can probably do something with this. We should head back. <laughs> Kawanabotayuntatangakinamatura. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. Ta Hello there. What is this? Oh my, she's dead. Kawana bota yunta tanga kinamatura. <laughs> Welcome back. My deck is still warm if you're up for bazaar. Foul business, that is. Like most nights, I was here. What do you want to talk about? If it'll help Dagon, 
You got it. There's no way that Dagon could have done it. I saw him coming from his office. That's the opposite direction of the marketplace. We should go talk to Captain Riken and clear all of this up. Nico, is it? And the Offworlder. What brings the two of you here? That's a bold statement. I assume you have some sort of proof. It's a long story, so bear with me, Captain. The night of the murder, I was playing Pazak. It was a prosperous night. That should do it. We still don't know who killed Sulia, but this will greatly assist our investigation. You have been ordered off this investigation, Captain. I hope you can explain yourself. I had nothing to do with this, sir. This citizen found information about Captain Sulio's murder. It's material to the investigation. We've already got our man. Sulio and this Ghent were fighting the night she was murdered. He had ample motive. Have you read the report? Some of the things Solio called him were vile. Solio and Dagon clearly hated each other. You expect me to believe... It's absolutely true, Major. I was a friend of both of them. They've done this dozens of times. Bahima, the bartender, can confirm it, as well as half a dozen other people. They were an odd pair, but they certainly didn't hate each other. I see. Well, there's still the fact that he was right there at the scene of the crime. I've already given my report off-worlder. He... The only thing that matters to me is that he was within blaster range when Solio was killed, and he did not have an alibi. You have a recording? Well, I'm sure you're just misinterpreting it. I've seen it myself, Major. Nico isn't the only one that spotted Dagon coming from his office. It really can't be Dagon Gant. The real killer is still loose. Very well, Captain. Set Gant free, then. But if later it turns out that he did do it, it's gonna be on your head. The men will be working on getting Dagon Gant out right away. <laughs> the Major sure isn't happy. You're quite a team. Together, you got the Major to back down. That's no small feat. If you head over to Dagon Gent's office, some men will bring him there shortly. Thanks for clearing this whole thing up. I could tell the justice wasn't being served, but we all have our orders. We really need to patrol that sector better. Thanks for getting me out of there. As detention cells go, it had definite class, but I prefer being out of my own all the same. I owe you a Mandalore one. Not many people can help you out with that. In several assassination attempts on Queen Talia. That place is locked tighter than a HUD's fault. I know a few people, though. Who do you need to get in touch with? A Jedi Master, you say? Now that is interesting. It's quite a bounty in Jedi these days. Not that I'm looking to collect, but if there's a Master there, I think I know who it is. I'm not certain, otherwise I tell you. But the man I'm thinking about is smart, likes to stay in the shadows, and is cryptic as hell. If he isn't a Jedi Master, he should become one. There's a slight problem with that. I know you don't want to hear that since you went through all the effort of springing me out. The thing is, scavengers have already looted most of my stuff. Most of it's garbage anyway, so I don't care too much. But I did have a couple of encrypted holodisks that they nabbed. So here's the punchline. I need those discs because they have some contact information on them. The people I know you don't just walk up and chat with. There's a procedure, and that holodisc has the procedure. The Kells gang pretty much owns this street. From what I hear, she's the one that cleaned me out. She's in the local cantina most days. She's tough as dreadful leather and more dangerous than an angry Wookiee. You take Mandalore with you, though, you should be just fine. Just get me the encrypted holodisc. After that, if there is a Jedi Master in the palace, I'll get you a meeting with him.
Found the encrypted holodisks yet? I doubt that Bikel is smart enough. ジャワジョシムポエンドラカワイチベンドモモパラマカワナアバワシユクロレンマンモポロマバベワントソシトモカラタエンワマクロロカカマランエンドソランウィノチャビタランモシムエンダサランスクレマスンク What do you want here, Offworlder? The room is taken. The whole can. Those words will be your last. with you. You're a Jedi, right? I was one of the ground troops. We fought on Daggery Minor together. It was near the beginning of the war. We, uh, we didn't win that battle. Enough of the past. The whole galaxy isn't safe for Jedi now, especially here. Onderon has suffered through three wars started by fallen Jedi. Do you still serve the Republic? That's the first good news I've had in months. I was sent by the Republic Senate to investigate certain delicate matters that are happening on Onderon. It's worse than I feared. I have to get to Coruscant to deliver my report. But days before I was planning to leave, they started requiring starboard visas. I really can't say. The most I will say is stay clear of General Vaklu. His ambition knows no bounds. I believe the people of Isers are absolutely correct. A civil war is brewing, and Vaklu may very well win if I can't get to Coruscant in time. Thank you for the tip. Thank you, but this is a personal starport visa. It is key to you and you alone. I appreciate your gesture. But I need an open starport visa. Those are transferable and work for anyone. Helping me is not without its risks. I know you have Jedi training, so you can probably handle it. But I may be being watched. If, if that would compromise your mission, perhaps we should go.
good to see you again. Really? I've been looking for one for weeks. Thanks. You've done a tremendous service for the Republic. Now I have to catch the first shuttle out of here. May the Force be with you. encrypted all of this yet. I won't be able to get a hold of my contact from the palace without it. Great going there. With these, I'll check my contacts at the palace. I should be able to get a meeting with your Jedi Master shortly. You got anything you need to take care of in the quarter. You best do it now. You're dealing with serious politics by contacting him. If things go bad during a meeting, you may not be welcome in Isis anymore. Perhaps never. Just let me know if you want to go through with this. Yeah, yeah, I'll get on it. Just grab a cot and rest a bit. Once I get a meeting time, I'll let you know. Is this meeting a trap? I can't afford to lose you, especially given recent events. Anything could be a trap. Baklu is no fool. But if the message is true... Is this necessary? I can guarantee your safety in the palace, but outside these walls the General has many men that would do anything for him. Nothing in life is certain, Your Majesty. But I feel... something. There is a disruption in the Force. I must investigate this. Very well. But please, be cautious. Aren't I always? That's what I was afraid you'd say. Well, the meeting is on. Head straight to the cantina. You guys should be in there. And, uh, no offense, but... I hope I never see you again. You must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is a full battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. Kavar, the famed Jedi Guardian. The Mandalorians counted on the fact it would be you, not Revan, who would lead the Jedi against us during the Mandalorian Wars. I wonder how we'd have fared against you. I thought you were killed fighting Malik during the Jedi Civil War. It seems my former student keeps curious company. Strange times lead to strange alliances, though. No, I survived the war. If only just. Why are you here? I imagine that you hold little love for any on the Jedi Council anymore. Even an old friend. You have to understand that it was a time of great uncertainty. We just learned that Darth Revan was back with an armada. Every Jedi that went with him was lost, corrupted, and as dark as their master. And then there was you. Many thought you were a spy, but there's more to it than that. And I think you deserve an expert. Am I interrupted? In orbit, I thought for sure that the Ebon Hawk was mine. I was certain. Only to see you slip through my fingers during the battle. Imagine my delight to discover you were on Isis. Quite careless, if you ask me. Get them, men! And watch your aim! Civilian casualties cause a mess of paperwork. I'll get word to you when I'm able. Run! What? What have you done to my men? Blast! Men, take care of her! I won't let Kavar escape! For the sake of subtlety, I suggest we avoid using grenades and any other weapons that may injure civilians in this battle.
What? What's happening in the West Square? It sounded like battle. Command's ordered comm blackout. Do you know what's going on? What? Why? That makes no sense. Command hasn't issued any alerts. Are you sure it wasn't some of those Beast Rider slags? They've been getting bolder recently. You, you must be mistaken. Soldiers just don't attack civilians without orders. If it weren't for the comm blackout, I'd check with Command. Just head to the safety of the Merchant Square, citizen. We'll send a patrol to investigate as soon as we can contact our HQ. 
Not all the military is after us. Still, Vaklu can throw a whole army at us. I think we've outworn our welcome over here. We should head over to the spaceport before General Vaklu invents some charges against us. Then we'd be in real trouble. <laughs> I hear you. You know what to do. Let's do it! Get her! This shot is <laughs> The diagnostic is doing something strange. Target acquired? What the hell does that mean? Your visa's been scanned. You're cleared to leave. I'd leave right away. Things are going crazy in this court. What is it? The shuttle is just ahead. I think we should get out of here fast. It's gonna be some time before they forget about us here. No more trips to ISIS for us until the situation changes. A lot. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
we're back. The shuttle is going to stay docked here until further notice. I'm not ready to part company yet. It sounds like you have a lot of traveling to do. So do I. I'm going with you. The Sith have taken a particular interest in you, and you could use an extra blaster. I've been meaning to leave Duxon to look for other Mandalorian clans anyway. I don't have it in me. It's a matter of self-interest. The Sith aren't known for sharing power. If the Jedi Order is destroyed for good, it's inevitable that the Sith will dominate the Republic. And then my people will be eradicated or enslaved. Helping your cause is a matter of necessity. Mandalorians helped Exar Kun during his war. We know firsthand how we'd fare in the service of their like. But that's enough for now. We'll have time to talk later. The Ebon Hawk is patched up and ready to go. When you're ready to depart, we can ask the guide here to take us back to the ship. Ah, you are here. You felt it, did you not? The time to hide your presence is coming to a close, and you will need to increase your training. You are ready. Your training must increase, and there are higher mysteries you must learn. But only you must know the path you will take. I cannot choose it for you. Is it battle that stirs you? To meet an enemy blade upon blade? Such is the way of the greatest of Jedi warriors, the Weapon Masters. Or perhaps it is investigating the mysteries of the galaxy, seeking out injustice and harm, and bringing it into the light. Such is the way of the Jedi Watchmen in the time of Ulik Keldroma and Exar Kun. Or perhaps your way lies upon the ancient mysteries, and to teach others the ways of the Force, as I have, the way of the Jedi Masters. It is not some great test you require to be what you strive to be. It is only your decision to find that path that matters. From here on, you guide your destiny. But in order to take the next steps, you must face your past and put it to rest.
Saber. You've destroyed it. I yield, Master. It is as I heard through the Force. My life for yours. You must. The alternative is only another death. And I would rather die by your hands. I... I have nothing to offer you. Your strength is superior. It is as I felt. Now I've seen everything. This woman, she's a Miraluka. I didn't think any were left in this part of the galaxy. I heard they had a colony on the Midrim, almost halfway between Onderon and Dantooine. Then, it wasn't there anymore. The whole planet was wiped out. Nothing left alive. No one knows why. 
Well, some of her wounds are pretty bad. Looks like she was already carrying her share of scars, though. I think she'll recover, yeah. <laughs>